read a really shy girlfriend volume review for a series with over 20 volumes and 80 million copies in circulation. Perhaps it's no surprise that Red and Girlfriend has a spin-off series already. Today I'm here to take a look at Volume 1 of Red and Radio Shy Girlfriend, which promises to bring something a bit different to the franchise. As readers may have guessed from the name, the series follows 19-year-old Sumi who was introduced in Volume 5 of Red and Girlfriend. To say Sumi is simply shy is an understatement. The poor girl suffers from a communication disorder, which means she finds it difficult to talk to or to or even briefly interact with strangers. To help overcome or better manage her condition, Sumi has decided to work as a rental girlfriend which gives her the ability to meet new people and earn some money at the same time. However, this job is far from easy and if Sumi doesn't satisfy her customer and give, keep a 5 star rating, she soon finds herself out of work. Of course, Sumi isn't alone. Her boss is understanding her condition as of chapter 3 of this book. She met Mizuhara, who works for the same company, with a capable senior who she can turn to for help and advice. Maybe Sumi will be able to become the confident person she dreams of. She's not just Mizuhara will get to see in this book though, as Ruka and Mami also have chapters of their own where Sumi interacts with them. This is sure to please fans of the main series, especially given these chapters are canon and take place alongside it. That said, Volume 1 takes place before Sumi's introduction into the main series and she's yet to meet Kazuya until his name drop by Ruka. The fact that Kazuya isn't here works here works out for the best since we get a chance to observe how Sumi is when she's by herself. Some chapters see her goings and outings, while others shows her in a date with a client. The divide helps illustrate that Sumi's condition affects all of her life, and not just her work, She's, which is which is important since in the main series, we haven't had the opportunity to see Sumi outside of her dates with Kazuya. As far as spin-off series go, this one is a great addition if you found yourself a fan of Sumi. Of course, it's nice to have more of the other girls too, but fear not. Sumi is always front and central of the storylines, although this also means that if you are aren't a fan of Sumi, that this release is completely skippable since it's unlikely to change your mind about her. Artwork for this series has been handled by original mangaka, Rejimi Ajiwa with additional art by Yuka Kinami. Judging by the afterward, Kinami was largely on assistant duties, but still nice to see her name and the front cover alongside along with Miyajima's. As far as the artwork goes, it's easy to part with Red Girlfriend itself. With plenty of focus on Sumi and the various expressions she makes, her non-verbal communication is a big part of the series, so it's nice to see the focus on that and for it to be conveyed so well. As with the main series, there are also quite a few two-page spreads that look terrific. Red Ready Shy Girlfriend Volume 1 comes in the West thanks to Kodansha and as the main series. Like the main series, it's translated by Kevin Gifford and letter by Paige Pumpley, we're not always blessed to have the same team working on the both spin-off and main series here in the English market, so I'm pleased to see both return here and keep everything consistent with Red Girlfriend. Overall, Red Girlfriend, Red Really Shy Girlfriend Volume 1 proves an entertaining read for fans for Red Girlfriend. Of course, your mileage will vary based on how much you like Sumi as a character, but provided you don't like, don't dislike her, this one is sure to steal your heart, 9 out of 10.